Hi there, here's a little video that shows you how you make and display planes in Olex 2. So here's a molecule, um, it's one of the sample molecules, you can load this up yourself, it's in home and it's the CO110 sample here. Okay, so if you right click on this atom in the ring, you can go select rings and then you type MPLN that produces a plane here. And I can do the same here. I can right click on this, select the rings and up key to get the previous command back. Now, if you try this at home, you probably see the color of these, this color on the other side. Now I've changed it already. So I'll show you how to change the visual appearance of these um, planes. So I can right click on this object, graphics, draw style and you can click on absolutely any object in Olex 2 and then, then you can do exactly the same. So here we clicked on the plane and the plane is composed of a plane and a centroid. So the centroid is that black spot in the middle. So what I've done before, I changed the front color to blue and left the back color by default. So if we double click on this and make this also blue, the whole plane will become blue. Now I want to change the centroid as well, just to make this look a little bit, um, you know, less dire. So we go and make it uh, gray. Now we only need the front because the back is inside the sphere, so we never see that. If I click OK here, then you see the plane looks very different. We've got a little centroid ball and we've got um, that plane here. Let's do the same over here. We right click on this graphics, draw style, and I made this orange. So let's cho choose the same orange here. And we can now, of course, play games and uh, make the centroid uh, a similar orange. And we can change some of the other attributes. So diffuse front, that's a different um, property of that OpenGL object. Let's make this dark gray. And then what we see is an orange sphere that looks a bit like this. So you, you see how you can uh, start playing a lot of uh, games here. By the way, in the background here, information about the planes we selected previously is shown. We can't read this, so I type text and that brings up the text. So these are the atom to plane distances in that ring. So you know how much each atom is in the ring and so on and so forth. Um, we don't want the background, we type clear. So it's, it's, it's uh, cleared from the buffer. And now there's another little thing you can do with this example. Uh, you might have a suspicion that might be some pi pi bonding going on here. And the command you need is pi pi minus g. And what that does it is it grows everything here. So it shows all the interactions that have been found. And in this case, there has been a blue blue plane interaction and an orange orange plane interaction. And a lot of information in the background. Um, again, if I type uh, text, we can see all this information, shift distances and centroid, centroid distances and so on and so forth. Both. Right. Now I type clear because I don't want this at the moment. Can we tidy this picture up a little bit? So we uh, zoom in a little bit. Um, okay. And we might want to show a line between that. So what we do, we click on both objects and type line. And that makes a line and it puts the distance on it. Now you can edit whatever comes in here by double clicking on it. And uh, if you know the ESD, and I'll show you in a minute how to get that, you can type that in. Uh, be careful, the plane is still selected. So it's green, so it's still selected. If I now click on that and up key for the previous command, I get the other line here. <clears throat> I can change the properties of this line by right clicking on this and change the radius. Can make it uh, somewhat uh, smaller or I can make it larger. And I mean, you get the idea. You can you can uh, draw this to any way you like. Control H to hide your hydrogens. Um, so you, you see, you see, you can you can uh, get quite a nice picture here. Once you've done the picture that you're happy with, uh, you would head over to work and draw. And here's sort of bitmap images and things you can make. Um, resolution 600 dpi with five, uh, I don't know what that was, centimeters. So it's 600 dpi at 5.08 centimeters would come out as 1200 pixels. So there we go. And if I click on go, it will make that picture with that name here. And it, if the file name already exists, it will, uh, it will ask you whether you want to override it or what you want to do. If you click on the um, folder, then the latest in here should be our v.1png. And if we load that up, do you see the picture that we uh, we have just made? Okay, 
Now, this is a very brief overview how to do planes and um, how to uh, draw them. Now, if you want to know ESD values, you click on that and you type ESD. And that now, if I type text, that gives you the same information as before, but this time with the ESD values from the variance covariance matrix that must be present um, in your refinement. Well, that's it. Uh, thanks for using Olix too.